This is Twit. We're going to jump into hardware, but not the normal hardware. This is like the wearable hardware. Let's do it. Now, now I... I will give them this, that yes. in my criticism of Google I.O. being a little underwhelming, I did not have this on my bingo card. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if you guys did or not, but I, I or, or all the details of this. This was su surprising. Yeah, it was pretty surprising. I mean, we knew there was something cooking with Wear. Uh, we had some clues, you know, namely we had heard at some point there was a leak that, um, Samsung's next Galaxy Watch 4, I think is what it's called, uh, was going to be Wear OS and not Tizen. That was a rumor, unsubstantiated, but uh, definitely a lot of you know action and, and dialogue around that. We also knew that there were a couple of events, a couple of, um, of online events with Google I.O. that were named Wear and not Wear OS. And so it was like, okay, well, so there's obviously going to be a name change. If there's a name change, maybe that means that there's going to be some revitalized new energy put into it. What does that look like? Well, we found out at Google I.O. Uh, Wear OS is getting a new life. Google has aligned with Samsung. And so they're effectively combining Wear OS and Samsung's efforts with Tizen OS uh, on their wearables, which, by the way, have been incredibly successful. Samsung has done really well with their wearables. I think that I would imagine they're second behind Apple, um, although maybe there, you know there's a fitness brand that that fits that that spot. But I'm pretty certain it's Samsung. Uh, as far as Android, you know, compatible or Android friendly wearables are concerned, Samsung's wearables are really kind of a top of the list. So Samsung has agreed to enter into this relationship with Google and they're essentially merging their efforts uh, also includes Fitbit. Of course, Google now owns Fitbit and we were wondering where does the Venn diagram of Fitbit and Wear OS cross? Well, Fitbit's going to be releasing a new, um, some new Wear devices coming up. It's going to be interesting to see how the fitness side of Fitbit merges with Wear OS. But really, I think what's really interesting here is that, you know, I personally, I think Samsung's done really great things with its wearable um, version of Tizen. And so, and Google has recognized that they are not doing well in the wearable space. So when you've got Samsung, Fitbit, and Google all together creating one unified, go away, Google, one unified effort in wearables, like, man, you get, you're coming up with something that's that's really compelling. Um, so I'm, re I'm really looking forward to this. I know that Google is using this as a way to revamp and kind of relaunch Wear and get people excited about it again. Certainly worked for me. I'm excited to see what this leads to. Curious to know what you guys think. Who wants to go first? I, I didn't see it coming. Didn't Again, it coming. I'll say it. Didn't see it coming. I mean, I, we, it's funny because how many years ago now, Jason, were we just about all about Tizen? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I could do a search and find that out. But yeah, it's probably, yeah. I'm guessing probably four or five years ago. <gasps> Oh, I think that was longer. I think we have to do that search. Um, but um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I guess this is good, but I, I, part of me wonders how much of this is both Google and Samsung coming together saying, hey, it's not working disjointed. Let's try to make like this. This kind of feels like a last gasp. Could, if you could take okay, it from so a half empty la last gasp kind of approach. So that's, that's a good thought. segue to my pessimism, I guess, about this. Um, so you mentioned Samsung, Google, and Fitbit all yeah. coming together. Um, it's yeah. worth mentioning that the Samsung devices and the Google devices are written with different operating systems, Samsung versus, I'm yes. sorry, Tizen right. versus Android. Um, and yeah. Tizen is probably the better of those for this particular application. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what Fitbit OS is written in. Um, so anyway... I hope that they can leverage this integration and make it super awesome because um, they offered some cool things like sleep tracking. I could see how they integrate that with the Google Home, the new Google Home that does sleep tracking. And suddenly mm -hmm. now you have a really robust like health picture yeah. starting to form. Yeah, so no kidding. It, it, it's, I like to see it and I hope it is successful. Yeah, so by the way, All About Tizen, No Really, was the title of episode 172 from uh, July 29th, 2014. 
So there we go. Mm. You were right. That was uh, more than five that years. That was a very, a very long time ago. That yeah. Was, yeah, that's, yeah. Different era. But um, specifically, so basically uh, Google is touting thanks to Samsung's partnership uh, improvements to battery life, which has long been a Wear OS Achilles heel, especially compared to Samsung's offerings. So Samsung's helping them with that. 30% faster load times, smoother animations. I think in general, you know, you're going to see, uh, at least on Google's reference version of where you're going to see a lot of synergy, uh, buzzword, uh, between uh, material you on the phone and the watch. So you're going to have kind of those things speak in a similar uh, design language. Um, all using what Google said was, quote, the latest chipsets. They didn't indicate what that actually means. They didn't mention if that was actually the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100, which was <laughs> launched last year, but I think only like one or two watches ever have used it, even though it's a big step up from, from its predecessor. Uh, and who knows, maybe maybe Google, you know, we know about Google's Whitechapel chip. Would Google create a wearable chip? I mean, I haven't heard anything officially or unofficially about that, but something to ponder. Uh, Samsung's watch face designer tool is going to come to wear. Um, and ultimately, what this means for Samsung, because that was my question. It's like, all right, I see what Google gets out of this. What does Samsung get out of this? And um, I guess out of this, Samsung gets, you know, really, uh, they get access to app support because they did not have the Google Play Store on the on their watches when they were running Tizen. Now they'll have access to that. Still, though, it kind of seems a little imbalanced because Samsung, I feel like, was doing pretty darn good with their wearables. So what's going on here? Why? I, I don't know that I have the answer. I guess it depends if it's a hard, if this is for selling hardware or software because just like with cell phones, you know, this watches need to be a platform with all sorts of watch face support and uh, apps, you know, supporting yeah. it. So I don't, I don't know who wants to sell what, um, but Samsung right. wants to sell devices. So to yeah, that's true. What you're saying, it's that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so one one big difference that we're going to get out of this Wear um, switch is that Google uh, says that there's going to be uh, the ability for uh, device manufacturers to customize. And Wear OS was kind of like Android Auto in the sense that, and Android TV, in the sense that it was a platform that Google Google looked at Android and said, oh, there's too much customization going on. That that results in fragmentation. We need to lock that down. So therefore, here's Google, uh, Google Wear or Android Wear, I think was the, the initial name. And all Android Wear devices are going to look the same, but this is going to be different hardware. Now they're kind of going the opposite direction saying, hey, with, with the new Wear, yes, you can customize this to, to match your brand. So it'll be interesting to see if that revitalizes things because it gives these watches a little more personality um, or if it makes things worse from a fragmentation standpoint because anytime you do that, you introduce another roadblock for you know for updates to Android to not quite make it to the watch in time because you've got that kind of that uh, customization layer in the in the mix there and that's gonna slow things down i don't know if that's gonna make a huge difference but anytime that's an issue with android it kind of sucks so i don't know yeah I don't know. <laughs> ron doesn't know either you're by co-signed yeah okay yeah that, that works much, yeah, that works much it. Uh, i'd be curious to see what this does Jason, we have to remember next week when Flo is on the show to get her take on this because I'm sure oh, that I'm she, sure she has, has got lots of opinions on this move and this 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 this, this kind of this takes. And I, I mean, I don't, you know, like Sam. I don't know for sure that Samsung. I know Samsung's smartwatch products have way more product, you know, uh, you know, kind of uh, marketplace fit than Google's previous attempts at it. But I, I again, I go back to my original thought that I don't know that it's enough to move the needle. Like I just yeah. don't know. Yeah. So I, I suppose know. we'll find out. Um, yeah. look, I am I am looking forward to seeing what comes out of this though, and I'm looking forward to a Fitbit that has uh, that's running Wear OS. Um, someone in chat mentioned, and I think I mentioned it briefly, but you know, Fitbit is a really 
respected brand when it comes to wearables and fitness. And Fitnit is bring, uh, Fit, Fitbit is bringing that to this, the table for this as well. So does that elevate the new wear platforms, uh, you know, fitness capabilities, which have been pretty lackluster so far? So they're getting the good stuff from Samsung. They're getting the good stuff from Fitbit. You know, does that create a great a great watch experience? That's what we don't know yet. But um, I don't know. Sounds pretty positive. I'm I'm looking forward to it, and I am definitely curious to hear what Flo has to say about this next week. So yeah. I'll have to check in with her on that. 